I'm Haley, and nothing cheers me up like a good sing along. Of course, sing-alongs work a lot better when you're not the only one in the room. Sorry, Warren. <laughs> they really require cooperation. Cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. Sing-alongs bring people together. They make people happy. And they can make the world a better place. I love it when musicians get together for a sing-along to help raise money for other people. This one's for the children. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O. You see? Different people with different talents all coming together with the same goal, to help people in need. That's major cooperation. Today's story is about a person who was in need and the friends who worked together to help him. Maybe my musician friends can help me with my sing-along. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. Much better together. I'll see you soon. Bye. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 5, verses 17 through 26. Imagine living in Judea 2,000 years ago. If you got sick, there were very few doctors. If you couldn't see or hear or walk, there was no one you could turn to for help. Please, help me. But when Jesus began to travel and teach and heal, Suddenly, there was hope. A way to get better and start life all over again. Stories of Jesus reached a man in Capernaum who couldn't walk and his four friends. Let's call them Leo, Mike, Raph, and Donnie. Jesus is in town! Right here in Capernaum, over at Joe's house! Ginormous crowd, dude! The man who couldn't walk tried hard not to get his hopes up. I can't even get there, much less fight my way through a crowd. You don't have to, cause we got you. Ready? Dude, one, two, three, lift! The four friends each grabbed the corner of the man's mat. Together they carried him out of the house and down the dusty road. Soon, they could hear the sounds of a large crowd. There's Joe's place, oh yeah. What's happening? People jammed in 20 deep around the door. We got religious leaders, teachers, poor people, rich people, standing room only. Actually, there's no standing room, dude. Only room is up. Sure enough, around the back of the house, the four friends discovered a narrow staircase up to the flat roof. Wait, how is this any better? And down, dudes. Hold it. We can't even hear Jesus. Oh, we can't hear him yet. That's about to change. Help me pry up this clay. It's time to raise the roof. Within minutes, the four friends pried up large sections of packed clay to reveal a rough thatch of sticks connecting the roof beams. <laughs> Gotta bust these out. And voila. As dust and beams of sunlight spilled into the room, the four friends could see the shot crowd gaping up at them. The only one who didn't seem shocked was the man at the front, watching them with deep, kind eyes. Jesus! Hey, all y'all people down there, get ready, cause our friend is coming through. The four friends each grabbed the corner of the mat and began to lower their friend into the rough hole they had created. Hey, what's going on? Hey, wait, wait. You can't do this. What is this? Hold on. 
In spite of the confusion, the man who couldn't walk was finally lowered to the floor, right in front of Jesus. The nerve! Just look at all this damage. Jesus wasn't looking at the damage or the shocked crowd. His eyes went from the man on the floor to the four faces peering through the hole in the roof. In their eyes, he'd read what they'd done and how certain they were that he could heal their friend. He saw their faith. Then, Jesus smiled at the man on the floor. Friend, your sins are forgiven. <gasps> the religious leaders didn't dare speak their thoughts aloud, but inside their heads, they were nearly screaming. Who is this fellow to say such an evil thing? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus could tell exactly what was going on in their heads and hearts. Why are you thinking these things in your hearts? Is it easier to say, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, get up and walk? He wouldn't dare. Well, at least everyone will see he's a fraud. Jesus had God's power to meet the greatest need of the man who couldn't walk by forgiving his sins. But that wasn't something the religious leaders could see. So Jesus gave them something they could see. I want you to know the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Jesus looked down again at the man on the mat, right into his eyes. Get up, take your mat and go home. It seemed that everyone, from the four friends on the roof to the people jammed in the doorways and windows, was holding their breath. The man who couldn't walk sat up. Then he stumbled to his feet. His friends cheered. Oh, you got this! Deep breath. Baby steps. Bring it, dude. The man took a step, a hop, a leap. I, I can walk. I can walk. Praise God. The man grabbed his mat and danced out of the house to meet his friends for a group hug. The crowd was amazed and filled with wonder. Most unusual thing I've seen in all my years. Well, praise God. Praise God. Through the power of God and the help of a few friends, the man who once couldn't walk now ran home on his own two feet. His life forever changed. Whenever Jesus was in town, people hurried to see him. The word was that Jesus could miraculously heal people. So the man who couldn't walk needed help to get to Jesus. And his friends went above and beyond to make that happen. They saw a need and they worked together to do something about it. And don't miss this, don't miss this. Jesus saw that the man had a different kind of need. It's the same need that all of us have. The man needed to be forgiven of his sins. He got the miraculous healing he was looking for, plus he was forgiven. You and I can have that same forgiveness because of what Jesus did on the cross. So there are needs all around us, in our homes, in our schools, in our communities, even the world. And you can do something about it, but you don't have to do it alone. Right? B I N G O Bingo! You can work together with others. Maybe you can form a team to help clean up your park or help out in your neighborhood. Maybe you could put on a show to help raise money for people in need in your own community or in other countries. Sometimes needs seem too big to tackle alone. So why not work together? That's the one thing to remember today. Work together to help someone in need. Ask God to help you see the needs all around you. And together, we can make the world a better place. I'll see you next time. Rock on, people! Y'all come back now, you hear? Like, bye! <laughs> what they said.
I will move you. Oh. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Can you can you give me a hand? Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Come on! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> woo! Woo! Yes. Woo! 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 Herky. <laughs> oh, Brandon. <laughs> woo, Brandon. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Here we go, Brandon. Here we go. Woo! Here we go, Brad. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Thanks. No problem. Here's another one. Nope, nope. Oh. I got him. I got him. Can I have a hand? John. And I'm Brandon, and you're watching The So-and-So Show. And today we are really excited yeah. because we have a very special guest coming on the show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in case John's excitement wasn't clear, our yeah. guest today is an amazing singer. The best in town. Without question. Uh -huh. Here. Uh, please, please welcome someone, someone who knows, knows stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, welcome, welcome, come on in. Oh. Here we go, here I we go. I can't believe you're actually here. We are so, so excited. Oh, I know. Thank you, I'm excited to be here too. So, uh, not that you really need an introduction. I mean, we've all heard your voice, but uh, for the show's sake, tell us who are you and what do you know? My name is Charmaine and I'm a singer. Oh, no, 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 I cannot wait any longer. Please, will you just sing for us? Of, of course. <laughs> Cue the music. Charmaine, I'm sorry. I think maybe there's some confusion or something. Why aren't you singing any of the words? Well, I thought I'd just sing my part. What? I'm a backup singer. I thought you knew that. No. No, no. You're Charmaine. You're, you're the Charmaine of the regionally semi-famous Charmaine and the Charlottes, known for covering all of the greatest public domain hits. No, actually, we're Charlotte and the Charmaines. <laughs> oh, so the lead singer's name is Charlotte. Yes. No! <laughs> I'm so sorry. He can sometimes be dramatic and insensitive. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah, uh, so uh, tell us, Charmaine, uh, what do you love about singing backup? <laughs> Well, um, the background vocals are a really important part of the song. Sometimes they can be overlooked, but it's what makes a song feel complete. Mm -hmm. You know, you need the harmonies and the background vocals to really fill everything out. Well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I always just focus on the lead singer. But 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 she she wouldn't sound as good without you, right? Right? Well, it takes all of us working together as a whole group to really make the song shine. That is awesome, Charmaine. Hey, do you? You think you could give us a lesson on how it's done? Sure. Yeah. Now, the real key to being a good backup singer mm -hmm. is being able to harmonize oh. and keep a beat. You should also know how to dance a uh, little. Okay. Come on. You got to pay attention, listen to the music, and have fun. <laughs> 
close enough. Let's try it with the music. Hit it! Tweedle dee dee, tweedle dee dee, dee dee dee, dee dee dee, dee dee dee, dee Tweet, tweet, tweet. He rocks in the treetops all night long. No, Up and no, no, we can't sing the words. No, we're singing, we're singing in the back. All right, well, how do you know when to come back in? You listen and practice. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. tweet. Oh, oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> That was a lot harder than I thought. Yeah, it takes some serious talent. But like I said, it's a group effort. If we Charmaines miss our part, it'll make everything sound off. Oh. But I will admit, it doesn't sound as good without Charlotte singing all the lyrics. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, maybe next time you can all come on the show so we can hear your full sound. That'd be fun. Oh, no, 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 I know you aren't the lead singer of your group, but can you lead sing us into our next part of the show? Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> It's Bible story time with Kellan. Tweet, 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 tweet. Hey guys. Hey Kellan. Hey, how's it going, Kellan? Oh, you know, just living the Bible story telling dream. Sounds fun. Now today, I have a story for you about this one guy who probably felt like he was living the dream by the end of it, but I don't want to give away any spoilers, so let's jump into it. One day, Jesus was teaching inside a house. There was a large crowd of people listening to him. Uh, what did he say? You are a city on a hill. Oh. There were also many Jewish leaders and law teachers there. Hmm. <laughs> I heard that God gave Jesus the power to heal. Well, I have to see this for myself. Get out of my way. Move along. Get, get out of here. I'm just trying to see something. Yes, me. People everywhere had heard stories of the miracles Jesus was performing. In fact, on that particular day, there were a few people who had a friend who couldn't walk, and they believed Jesus could heal their friend. Oh, we gotta get him to Jesus. Yeah, Jesus will be able to heal him. You guys know I'm right here. You can talk to me. Oh, right. Uh, we've gotta get you to Jesus. Yeah, Jesus will be able to... You don't have to repeat yourself. Oh. Uh, noted. Let's get through this crowd. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh. uh, no, pardon me, coming through. Oh. Uh, I think this crowd's too big. Uh, I'm trying to get our friend to Jesus. Uh, can you make way? I'm... I... <laughs> Shh. We're trying to listen to Jesus. Oh. Uh, make way for donuts. Yeah, everyone move aside and get your free donuts. Shh. Yeah, I really thought that donut thing would work. They wanted to place their friend right in front of Jesus but they couldn't get past the crowd. So they went on top of the roof. Uh, uh, now what? We'll just roll you off your mat and so you can fall through the ceiling and into Jesus's arms. Are you crazy? Relax, it's like a trust fall. Uh, I was thinking we'd just lower him down still on the mat. Yeah, I like that idea. The friends lowered the man on his mat through an opening in the roof. They lowered him into the middle of the crowd, right in front of Jesus. Jesus saw the faith of the man's friends, so he spoke to the man. Friend, your sins are forgiven. The teachers of the law heard what Jesus said and thought to themselves. Who is this guy? I mean, who can forgive sin but God alone? Why are you thinking these things in your hearts? Is it easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up and walk? But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Get up, take your mat, and go home. How 
Hallelujah. I can walk. He can walk. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hooray. Praise the Lord. I can walk. Yes. Yeehaw. Yip, 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 yee. It's a miracle. Oh, I can't wait to tell my Uncle Larry about this. We have seen some unusual things today. Now, how do we get down from here? <laughs> the end. Wow, that's amazing that Jesus healed that guy. Yeah, and forgave his sins. <laughs> yep, Jesus was so moved by the faith of the man's friends. His friends really went all out to help him. They, they never gave and up. And because of that, the man got healed, forgiven, and all the people there learned more about Jesus. That is awesome. Thanks, Kellen. You bet. Wow. The man's friends worked together and did whatever it took to help him get to Jesus. Yeah. I wish I could be a friend like that. Well, maybe you can. Reveal the question. Who do you know who needs help? Yeah, just like the man in the story who couldn't walk, there are people in your life who might need help too. Yeah, and you can work together with your family or friends to help those people. Maybe there are uh, people in your community who need food or clothes. You can work together to organize a clothing or food drive. Mm -hmm. There are all kinds of people in your life every day who could use your help. You can be their backup. You can be their backup. That's right. That's so right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, think it over. Think it over right uh, now. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time on the So and So Let's Show. Go. Yeah. 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 Star. Are up above. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> yes, like me. Oh, Amazing Grace. I knew oh, it. I knew it. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. I'm stumped, man. I, yeah, I don't. Is, is this an original that you you guys wrote? Jingle. The Charmaine's, Charlotte and Charmaine. Jingle. jingle bells. What is it? Who says jingle bells? Oh. The girl from Ape Tamer? No, no, no. But, but I think it is the Beach Boys. <laughs> <laughs>